The other fire that we're keeping a close eye on is down southwest of Fort Worth. That's the one that we told you exploded overnight to 4,000 acres. It quadrupled in size there. Uh, joining us now on the phone is Somerville County Judge uh, Danny Chambers. Judge, thank you uh, for being with us here this afternoon. Thank you very much. How are you doing today? Uh, doing well, uh, and, and, and hopefully you guys are doing well down there, too. Uh, I, I know that the battle is a fierce one, uh, and it's in some uh, bad conditions out there, to say the least, with uh, these firefighters. We were just being told a little while ago, uh, at least at one scene, uh, dealing with 115-degree heat, uh, and, and that's not even what's coming from the fire that they are up against out there. Uh, but some yeah. progress being made today, at least since we uh, looked in on this fire yesterday. Yes, sir. We had an update uh, with the TDM and the Forest Service at 3 p.m. They told us we're about 10 percent contained. Like you said, we're between four and 5,000 acres burned at this point. Uh, you know, Glen Rose Medical Center is out there. They're uh, hydrating our firefighters. They're doing intravenous, whatever they need to do to keep the guys going. Uh, like your previous report said, uh, the heat and the wind right now is just killing us. Everything is so dry. There's just so much fuel on the ground that it's, it's hard to contain it. Yeah, I wanted to ask you specifically about the wind issue. We know the heat is miserable, and these firefighters are out there in full gear, which makes that uh, even worse for them. Uh, but let's talk about the wind today, because uh, Kyle was just telling us a few minutes ago we're seeing gusts up to 36 miles an hour. That is, uh, to say the least, far from ideal when you are trying to get a big wildfire under control, and it's just being whipped by those winds. Yes, sir. This morning, even when they were trying to get the planes back up in the air so they could restart, uh, you know, we were fighting 20 to 28 miles an hour then, just, you know, pretty much constant. And then, like you said, we're having gusts up between 30 and 40 miles an hour. So you can imagine what these young gentlemen are trying to fight. Mm -hmm. It's and unbelievable. I would and imagine. And young ladies, too. I mean, uh, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off there. I, I, I thought you were done. I, I was going to say, I imagine that you're seeing in some cases uh, where the, f the fire is jumping. I mean, we're, we're looking in a couple of spots, you know, just in video here where you see a large area blackened. Then you see an area that's a little bit OK. And then you see another spot that looks like it's caught. And, and we have to imagine yes, that sir. the wind is, is, is helping to do that. And what's amazing when you watch this, you know, it will come up to a major uh, farm to market roadway, you know, 40 to 45 feet wide, and it'll lay over and jump that roadway in seconds, and then it's mm. off again. Mm. And we've had it cross probably five or six roadways within our county. You know, it started out at the base of Chalk Mountain at 5167, and it's worked its way across 1008 up almost to the Hood County line. And it's almost like you're just trying to catch a freight train that's just running away from you there, too. Uh, you know, we're seeing yes, this, it, it, you know, from, from our perspective, we're seeing kind of that bird's eye view uh, from the, the, the news chopper here. Uh, it really doesn't give a, a great indication, though, of what it's like when you get right down there to it. Yeah, some of these are some, uh, some pretty flat, wide open spaces, the ranches, the fields out yes. there. But you've got some pretty rugged terrain out there as well, and it's really hard to fight those fires in that rugged terrain. Yes, sir. You drop down in your valleys, you know, you can easily go 50 to 100 feet and then back up to level ground. So, yes, the topography out here is very uh, unlevel, let's put it that way. And, you know, we're at the top of the hill country, and that's exactly what you get into. Mm. Uh, again, Judge uh, D Danny Chambers from Somerville County there uh, joining us here on the line uh, this afternoon, updating us on that big fire out there uh, that we're looking at now 4,000 or so acres. Uh, and, and again, 10 percent contained at this point. They've evacuated quite a few residents out there. There's supposed to be a meeting tonight for those residents at 7 p.m. just to get them the latest info. Judge, thank you so much for taking the time with us this afternoon. We know it's a, a difficult time there. Thank you very much, and I want to thank everybody that has come through and helped us out. Thank you very much. Thank goodness for good neighbors who bring water hoses and uh, jump in on days like this one, uh, Kyle, because uh, they've got their work cut out for them out there. And again,